Hey guys, Waterfaller41 and today we are looking at a product that I just picked up from a company called Sportwing. It is a truck cab spoiler. So basically what this is, is a little bit of a spoiler lip. It kind of sits up on the top of your cab. Uh, it gives it a nice little, you know, unique look. It's not something you see on trucks every day. In my opinion, I like them. Uh, so basically, there's really two that pop up. There is the Sportwing version, which is manufactured by a company called Dawn Enterprises. And then there's the EGR wing. What I liked about the Sportwing is you could purchase it pre-painted. So basically when you're buying it, you could either purchase on Amazon or through the company Sportwing and they all come direct from Dawn Enterprises out in Ohio. But when you buy it, you give them your factory paint code and what they'll do is they'll factory match it to your paint code for your truck. So it looks nice. The EGR wing, uh, you gotta buy it and then you gotta bring it to a body shop and a little bit of a pain in the butt. So this one, it's all one-stop shop. It's an easy, you know, um, you know, click, check out, give them the paint code, then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and dig in here. Now I already opened it and I popped a little bit of a hole in the wrapping just to make sure that the color was the color that I was looking for. But um, so far, so good. So let's go ahead and dig into everything. Uh, just before I get too far into it, this is part number RS, SIL, or SIE 14 in GWX. So first things first, uh, I always judge a product by how the packing so how much time did the company take to pack it and I will say this is probably one of the best pack jobs I've ever seen now I would expect that when you're ordering body panels especially body panels that are pink to match I'd expect the company to go that extra uh, um, nine yards to 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 give you your product and make sure it shows up without any scuffs or any cracks or anything like that so from all the parts that I've ordered so far in you know for my truck to date I would say this is by far one of the best pack jobs I've ever seen so let's cut into everything uh, and go from there. <clears throat> That's a decently heavy wing. Alright, so the first thing you're going to see is polyurethane sealant. So you can't just take this wing, double stick it on the back of the bed, uh, as, uh, I'm sorry, the corner of your cab and expect everything to stay buttoned down while you're driving and going through car washes and everything. So part of the install does require polyurethane sealant. And also with that is an isopropyl wipe and the instructions, which they also have these online. It's very clean cut. Uh, you're just measuring, making sure everything lines up properly on the cab of your truck, removing the, the, the double stick tape backing throwing a bead of the urethane sealant on it, and then slapping it on your truck. So as long as you take your time with the measurements, everything should be easy peasy. But we don't care about the install stuff, we care about the part. All right. Whoa, nice. Wow, that is a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting just kind of a little bit of a wing, but this has got some meat to it. So here it is, let's see. So this is the paint to match. This is the wing from Sportwing, manufactured by Dawn Enterprises. And it is a solid piece of uh, body panel here. I don't know what material it's made out of, but it looks durable as can be. So when it gets installed, you have the knockoff for your third brake light and this goes on top of the truck. And that is quite a wing. All right, so you got some double stick tape here. That's to get everything lined up and seated down while the polyurethane itself clear, uh, cures on the truck. But basically when you're installing it, that urethane goes here and up around on these flat parts. Similar to the EGR wing, you gotta do the same thing. So it's kind of apples and apples on that one. Um, but again, what differs this wing from the EGR wing is the fact that it is color matched. So it comes like this directly from sport wing and you got to do nothing else other than install it on your truck once uh, you get it. So this is a perfect paint job on here. I haven't found any sort of orange peel or anything like that. So this should match my brown GMC pretty well. First impressions, this thing is badass and I cannot wait to get it installed on the truck. Now unfortunately it's going to be raining the next couple of days so we're going to have to uh, be patient here. 
but once the weather clears up this weekend we're gonna go ahead and throw this on the truck and like all right guys we finally got some nice weather so we're gonna go ahead and install our truck cab spoiler from sportwing so i went ahead and did a couple things here real quick just to kind of knock them out so just like with painting uh, whenever you're using adhesives or double side tape it's all about the prep work so i'd say 90 percent of the time you're spending prepping the surface before you actually apply it so we did a couple things before we even started sizing up everything. Well, I should say, after we got our measurements and everything lined up, and I'll go over those in a few minutes, we cleaned up the surface. So the first thing I did was I clay barred the top of my truck. So this is just some clay that I use with a quick detailer from Meguiar's, and then you just wipe everything off. And that gets all those little micro um, imperfections in the paint out. So all the little dirt that gets inside the little, the, whatever pores are in the paint, it gets that out. So you have a completely flat surface. Then after that, to wipe that completely off and clean up the surface 100%, I used some isopropyl alcohol to prep the surface the rest of the way. And that got any additional dirt that was left around on here off uh, and really just made sure that our surface was ready to go. All right, so after I prepped the surface with the isopropyl alcohol, that's when I started doing my measurements here. So the first thing I wanna do was make sure I found the center of the roof. So what I did is I measured from this channel to that channel and I cut it in half and that gave me 24 and 3 8 so I put a line right at the 24 and 3 8 then the other thing I did was on the side of the wing so basically you need to make sure you know where you want the wing to sit at the end of the day so if you want it lower you're going to measure lower on here if you want the wing to sit a little bit higher so a higher cant on it you're going to go up a little bit higher so what I did is I measured one half inch from the top of the window here onto the channel I put a piece of tape there and put a line That'll be the side of the wing. So when I put the wing on, the bottom of the wing is going to line up with that mark. Same thing on the other side. I measured a half inch up. Now, if you wanted a little bit more cant to the wing, like I was saying, you could go up three quarters of an inch, and that'll put the wing and have it stick straight up. But with a half an inch, it gives a little bit of aggressiveness, but nothing too crazy. Uh, I don't want it to stick up too much, uh, but I thought the half inch kind of gave it a nice little um, slant to the wing. Then the other thing you want to do is make sure you understand or know where on here the center of the wing is going to mount at the end of the day. So when you're mounting it, the front of the wing is going to come up here. So basically to give you an idea, it'll be one and a half inches off of the top of your light. So from here to here is one and a half inches and that's where the front of the wing is going to sit. So once you line up that point, that point, and that point, then you're good to go. So now I did change one thing as far as the insulation. This is just kind of an experiment I'm trying. So when they send you the wing, I know I talked about the polyurethane sealant that they sent it with. Um, good, this is probably the best way to do it, but I wanted to try out a different product here because I've seen a few videos on YouTube of uh, people using this stuff. So I went ahead and picked up some uh, molding tape from 3M. This is flexible stuff, but it's supposed to stick real well. And I would venture to say that it's equivalent as far as adhesion to the polyurethane sealant. Now the benefits of this is it's a little bit cleaner to use up front. Uh, the the negative part to this is it's not going to grab unless you have it completely flat on. So we're going to have to make sure that once we're installing the wing, we got it completely sealed to the surface. Whereas the sealant, you're going to put that big bead on it and it's going to catch regardless. So once you put it down, hold it down and, and it cures, it's going to have a nice tight bond. So we just need to make sure that when we're installing it with this stuff, that we A, we prep the tape, surface is prepped, it's got enough bite to it and then we're making sure that all the tape is making contact. So the last measurement I did before installing is we wanted to know the center line of the wing. So I measured it side to side and the center line's at 24 and an eighth. So what we're gonna do is line up this hash mark with this hash mark. And that tape right here is the front of the wing. So basically you can't mess it up. So what we'll do is we'll remove the adhesive, we'll line up the center, we'll make sure it's uh, level on each side. So one of the things I noticed is once we go to install it, we could check the clearance around this light, make sure that the clearance is equal on each side. Then we could go ahead and push down into here, here, and we could do each side at a time. So the wing sits flat across, and what we'll have to do is kind of pull it down a little bit so it lines up here. Once we pull it down and push down on everything, I think I have enough double-sided tape on this thing to hold it down. Uh, if not, you know, it's just an experiment. But I use this tape, or this is the tape I believe that came on my bumper shells for my truck and it's working out real well, which is why I wanted to try it on this wing. So to give you an idea of what it looks like on the back of the wing, so when you buy it, when you buy the wing from Sport Wing, it comes with the brown double stick tape. This is foam double stick tape. Uh, what you're supposed to do is take that polyurethane sealant 
and apply a bead around this, basically wherever I have the red 3M tape. So what I did is I went and installed the red 3M tape and we're going to use that in lieu of the polyurethane sealant. Again, the polyurethane is probably the best way to do it, but I wanted to keep it pretty clean in case I have any overspill on here and I wanted to try this stuff out see if it works well. I think it will, uh, but it all comes down to how you uh, install it. So the next... All right, we got the backing on the tape removed. We got everything cleaned up, so we're ready to install. So just to kind of give you a quick idea. So once you remove all this stuff, I took a heat gun and quickly hit everything. Um, it's 100 degrees outside, so it didn't really take too much to make it tacky. But now all we're going to do is take this mark and line it up with our mark on the roof. And we'll take the sides, line it up with the sides on there. We lined everything up. This basically dictated the sides where they fell. We tried to get as close as we could at there, there. And when I was putting it on there, I was kind of lining things up with my fingers here just to keep the spacing clean. So once the spacing was good, again, we still got access to our third brake light here. Went ahead and pushed everything down. And I am very happy with it. Let's get closer. So there's everything on the side. The back, like I said, you still can see your third brake light. And I got LEDs in there, so I probably won't have to open them up. But if I need to, I got plenty of room. And then the side here. So we're going to be careful with driving it. Again, since it's 100 degrees today, I'm going to leave the car inside, just let everything set up. Uh, we'll give it a few days before we actually take it through a car wash. But overall, very happy with it. So I'll get some before and after uh, pictures here, and I'll post them up in the description below but very happy with the quality and durability of this wing so far i mean the paint by far look it matches perfect so it's hard to take a roof that's been baked in the sun i park outside essentially and match it but they did an excellent job with it on the uh, purchase from sport wing uh, the wing itself the quality is awesome and the look is pretty sweet unique too so again this isn't everyone's cup of tea i'll be completely honest i was a little hesitant about it but overall, just the just how well it kind of lines up with everything and lines up with the lines of the truck, I'm happy with it. But again, not everyone's cup of tea. Not everyone's going to want to put a spoiler on their truck. But uh, I like it. looks good. And I definitely like the fact that it's factory matched to the paint. So just a quick once-over of everything it really took. Honestly, this, this install probably took about a half hour. So we prepped the surface. We measured up the sides. So we went up a half inch on each side. And that's what we lined up the bottom of the wing with. Up here we went one and a half inches from the top of the light to the front of the truck. Then we measured the middle of the wing in the middle of the truck, lined that up, and then uh, everything lined up. So we did the half inch on both sides. Good to go. So again, the, I guess a couple key things here. One, use a heat gun to heat up the tape on there to make sure it's tacky. Two, prep the surface, prep the surface, prep the surface. Can't be too careful on that portion. And then three, we're going to take it easy with car washes for the next couple of days. Uh, to let everything set up but um, you know from there very happy so we'll see how well this double stick tape works again just to give you an idea of what it was it's the 3m super strength molding tape if that's not your cup of tea sport wing sends the 3m 540 polyurethane sealant with the wing that you're supposed to use so we'll see if my experiment works good i think it will um, again i have it on my my bumper i've used this tape quite a bit on exterior applications and everything's holding up well so I can't imagine this being any different. Anyways, install was easy peasy, probably half hour at most. Uh, just heat up the tape, make sure your measurements are double, triple, quadruple check, then go ahead and apply and take your time. Patience, patience, patience. Other than that, that's me, that's my uh, sport wing truck cab spoiler. Thanks for watching.